I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from previous test paper on related rate of change. Now here is an example where we have two vehicles which are going in different direction and we need to find when the distance between them is minimum and what is the rate at which the distance is increasing or decreasing. We will also try to understand when is the distance increasing and when is the distance decreasing. Question number 9. At 4.30 p.m. a car traveling east at 100 km per hour is 45 km west of an intersection while a truck traveling north at 60 km per hour passes through the same intersection. At what rate is the distance between the two cars changing at 4.45 p.m.? Are they separating or approaching each other at this time? When is the distance minimum between the two cars? Now, so the three things which we need to find is the rate at which the distance between the two cars is changing at 4.45, that is 15 minutes after, and from that rate we have to figure out whether these vehicles are approaching or separating and uh, this calculation the last one when is the distance minimum between the two helps us to figure out whether our answer for separating or approaching is correct or not correct so i hope that makes sense so let's begin by sketching the scenario so let us say that this is the north direction correct and in this intersection, uh, the truck is going north and the vehicle on this side is going east from west. Now at an instance 430, this particular vehicle is 45 kilometers west of this intersection. So the total distance here is 45 kilometers from the initial position let's call this position as A correct so at this time the truck is is here right so let's call this as B so that is the instant now as the time passes truck moves and the car also approaches so let us say at time T A reaches to this place and the truck reaches to the other Let's say because they are going in that direction. So the distance between them is this, right? So we'll call this particular thing as the distance S, which separates the two. Perfect. Is that clear? Now we have to work for a particular scenario where time is after 15 minutes. So, so when uh, T is equal to 15 minutes means one fourth of an hour correct that is 15 minutes so when time is one fourth of an hour which is 15 minutes during this time the vehicle car which is moving at the rate of 100 kilometers per hour it will cover how much distance one fourth of 100 right so so this distance basically covered will be equal to 100 times t and the distance here covered will be 60 times t since that is the speed of truck traveling north correct so so if this is 100 times t and that is 60 times t then the actual distance at any time will be 45 minus 100 t whole square times 60 t whole square to get s so i hope you got this concept and the drawing correct so let's call this point here. So that is along when the truck moves. So from this, you can always see that we could relate display separation. So separation S square is equal to this distance, right? So from here to here, which is 45 minus 100 T whole square plus 60 t whole square correct so that is the relation between time and the separation between the two is that clear perfect so we can actually take derivative on both the sides 
So if I take derivative, I so let's differentiate this with respect to time. You get 2s ds dt equals to 2 times 45 minus 100t times the derivative of inside function which is minus 100 plus you get 2 times 60t times 60. Perfect. You can simplify this by cancelling these twos. Now, to find the minimum distance, let's first find the minimum uh, time when the distance is minimum. This derivative should be zero, right? That is one thing. So we can find minimum distance. But to find the rate of change, which is part one, or we can straight away substitute the values here. Now, at t equals to one over fourth of an hour, what is s equals to? Let's calculate this part, right? So, so at this time, the distance will be 45 minus 100 times. So this distance will be 100 times 1 over 4, which is 1 fourth of 100, or you can say this distance is 25, correct? And so the balance distance will be 20. Here, 1 fourth of 60 is 15, right? So this will be 15. So, so after, let's draw a di diagram here. Let me draw a separate diagram here. So what we are saying here that we have this distance as 20. This is at uh, uh, t equals to 445, right? So, so it has moved 25 kilometers. So distance left is 20 and the truck has moved one fourth of 60, which is 15. So that will be equal to 20 square plus 15 square square root. So let's calculate this. Right? So we have square root of 20 square plus 15 square. That is equal to 25. So this distance is 25. Correct? So we have a distance of 25 between the two. So at t so we can say at t equals to uh, that is 4.45 when t is one fourth of an hour, correct? After 15 minutes, we can substitute these values here and find ds dt, right? So let's do that part. So ds dt and s we found is 25. So let me write 25 here equals to 45 minus t is one fourth, which we did here. Calculate, correct? So time is one fourth. Uh, so it is 25 times minus 100 plus 60 times one fourth or let me write one fourth here now this time. Okay, times 60. Let's calculate this value. Okay, let's calculate this rate of change. Okay, so the rate of change ds dt will be equal to uh, we can open this bracket and divide by 25, right? So uh, basically this is 20, so it is minus 2000 plus uh, one fourth is 15, uh, let's do 60 times 60 divided by four equals to 900, right? So this is 900. And then we divide this by 25, correct? Okay, so we'll do 900 minus 2000 divide by 25. So that gives you minus 44. So minus 44 is the rate of change after 15 minutes at 445, correct? And the units will be kilometers per hour. Now what does this negative means? Negative means that the distance is decreasing between the two, right? So, so we can write here, it is decreasing at the rate of 44 kilometers per hour at 
Okay, so that is what we came up with. Now to verify whether it is really decreasing or not, let's do the last part, which is when is the distance minimum between the two, right? Now, how do you work for minimum distance? So for minimum, the, the rate of change should be zero for minimum distance, right? So, so for minimum, ds dt should be equal to zero, correct? That is what will give you a critical number, right? So let's get back to our equation, which was, uh, which is right here, right, which is here. So let's get back to this equation and equate this to zero to find the minimum. Is that okay? So what we will do now here is that we'll say ds dt equals to zero. That means 45 minus 100t times minus 100 plus let me write this as 3600t should be equal to 0 correct that is what it means so from here we can find time when the distance is minimum between the two you get the idea right so let's find the time when the distance is minimum between the two so so when you multiply this we we get let me less space here Okay, so let's open this. So that gives you minus 4500 plus 100 times 100t 100 plus 3600 t equals to 0. So let's solve this time. So from here, when you add them, you get, uh, you can write this as 4500 equals to 13600 t. So t is equal to 4500 over 13600. So let's calculate this answer. So 4500 divided by 13600. So that gives you uh, in decimals, let's say 0.33. 0.33 hours correct so when time is 0.33 hours that was 0.25 so after some time right it is going to be at the minimum distance correct so in minutes you could multiply this by 60 to get minutes which is equal to around 20 minutes right 19.8 minutes so so which is 19.8 eight minutes right so so that is what we get one third of a minute which is approximately 20 minutes you can see so so the minimum distance will be around 450 right so we can say add four if i add uh, uh, 19.8 minutes right so we can just add 20 around 450 pm we expect minimum distance. Between the two, correct? So that also verifies that after 15 minutes, the distance is decreasing, right? So distance is actually decreasing. And after 450, it will start increasing. It will have a minimum distance at 450. Doesn't make sense to you, right? So that is how you can solve this particular question. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Thanks for watching and all the best. So with